Okay, time for some more pointless wars I don't give a shit about over in the Baltics. Is this the Baltics? That's the Baltics. There, does that count over here? Fuck it, sure it does. Over near Finland. That's, that's where we're going, near Finland. It's all the same shit. All the same backwater nonsense. <clears throat> uh, have I assaulted enough people yet? Have I? Hmm? Fight me, YouTube. Fight me. Are they going to get there before they run away? They should do. Yes. Easy. These 7,000 men can merge and march immediately on I don't know where. Just come up here for now. That's fine. Arthur has come of age. He's already the prince of whatever the bloody hell. The duke of something. Dynasty head changes and it's not me again because why would it be me? It's not like I'm emperor of the world or anything. Don't be silly. It's kind of hard to tell where half of this fucking shit is. But we're about to take this. There you go. Awesome mounts. Which grabs me that giant chunk of territory there. Well, not really giant per se, but territory. I have a hook gaining as easy. It's right. So the other one I'm after is this tiny fucking thing here. Which is those boat people. And then this other one is these dudes. Who is... Those idiots? Yeah, those idiots. We have a betrothal. Sure. I don't really particularly even remember who the bloody hell that is, but sure. Ah, it's the Norway. Okay, yeah. I remember. I remember. No, I got the 7,000 men there. 15,000 Luxembourg. And then the 8,000 there. I forgot that I have that tool tip that I can do. God, Lord, all these fucking pop-ups. Too many goddamn fucking pop-ups. Go away. No, no, no. All right, we can end this against the boat people. Who I don't even particularly remember what the hell we're getting from them. I think that piece of land or something. Yeah. A piece of land that I don't really give a shit about. Um, okay, right. Uh, these guys? Yeah, those guys. We got their fucking king. Okay, excellent. That finishes that. Um, we were going for that tiny sliver of land there. That's what we were doing that for, apparently. Uh, I think the pinned characters are a bunch of kids I was thinking of betrothing to my new... Oh, yeah, shit, my new heir. Um, Prince... Fucking Sigdrick had a kid called Edward, who got the Herculean trait, and beautiful. He is penitive, not exactly going towards the whole military vibe that I wanted for him. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. I was kind of worried he was going to get some inbred traits, to be honest, because they're kind of like first cousins or something. But, actually, what are they, relatives? She's my niece. Through my sister. So they're like first cousins. Yeah, that's kind of inbreedy. I mean, it could be worse, but it's kind of inbreedy. So I don't know when this happened, but this dude from the Godwin family is converted to Islam. He's the Duke of Cornwall. So I'm just going to use the hook on him because apparently he was like... Yeah. Command conversion. I'm not having that in my backyard. Thank you very much. Well, holy shit, Harold fucking did well. Yeah, he gets Brilliant Strategist, Famous Champion, and Reaver. A lot better than... Ah, it's not much better than this. It's Famous Champion and Brilliant Strategist as well from Prince Arthur. Who has a kid now, interestingly. But he's... He's turned out better than my actual heir is. But at least we passed the... Uh... Ah, she's pregnant again. At least we passed the fucking Amazonian and beautiful thing. Down into... Uh... Edward. Hopefully, my tutelage of the boy now will uh, make it so that he does that. I can uh, reward Harold with his betrothal. There you go. Uh, we're basically waiting for the fucking truce thing to go away so I can start attacking the freaking Spanish again and taking that stuff. And while I'm at it, I'm just dealing with all this crap. I never really did care about pushing in that direction, but I have now connected all my borders around the Baltic Sea. So... I'm happy about that, and I just need to take Spain and take Italy. And potentially Greece, it depends how much of a pain in the ass the Byzantines want to be. I mainly just want the territory that they control that's inside of my shit. Otherwise, I don't particularly give a crap what they do. 
I have another child. This one has actually got some negatives from... I'm assuming from the inbreeding, potentially. Spindly. She's still got beautiful and fertility's up low. But uh, yeah, she's got some minor, minor, minor difficulties. A servant of the horny god, I mean horned god. As I open my eyes in the dark, I'm immediately overwhelmed by an ominous feeling. Is someone watching me? Are you ready to embrace the truth, Edward? I sit up and suddenly completely awake. I look around for the source of the unfamiliar man's voice, but there are only shadows. The horned god offers you his blessing. The horny uh, horned god offers you his blessing. Will you accept it? Um. Do I want to be a witch at the age of 57? I feel like that's like counterproductive. At the same time, I'm kind of interested to see what it will do. And I am the emperor. Who's going to stop me, right? Fuck it. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's do something interesting. I'm bored. I'm, I'm bored of being unstoppable and just incorruptible. Fuck it. We're a witch. To the abhorrent Emperor Edward, you dare challenge your witch em I mean, emperor. Uh, the peasant's lot is the service lord. You will die, peasant. These guys are so utterly dead. This is just raising the locals. This isn't everyone, this is literally just the forces of England. Alright, this is a perfect opportunity for my son- where the fuck is he? Is he even in a night- okay. So, Arthur can lead that one. He's probably gonna get him killed, but I wanted to prove himself, because he's- he's kind of the least decent of his freaking brothers, so... He's got some shit to prove. But I will give him command of some decent stuff, so he won't be alone. Just giving my fucking heir some experience in the battlefield, pretty much. Against a bunch of peasants. Alright, well, there you go. That's why I don't usually record those peasant revolts, because they're pretty much just terribly shit. Ooh, I can create more duchies to get more prestige as well, so that's something. Let's go kill some frickin' Spaniards. Well, not even necessarily Spaniards, really, are they? They're like, whatever the bloody hell these guys are. Uh, the fucking peace treaty is over, so we can now declare war on these idiots. And we can do a holy war for a kingdom, which I'm going to do. Um, I'm kind of tempted to grab that because it'll make my borders look nicer. Which I might do anyway, actually. Because I can just give the kingdom of Aragon then to my son. Yeah, Prince Harold. Prince Harold can be made the king of uh, Aragon. So fuck it, yeah, we'll do that. Plus the borders will look nicer. And I'm mainly after my borders looking nicer. Let's get another fucking bunch of men over here quick. And then get you over there. Also, don't I have more men over here? Yeah, I got 3,000 men here that's laying around. I can move those there. And then 7,000 here. Which I can just move there. Actually, I'll move those down here. What I want to do is put more men inside this army, and then we can march both of them over the freaking lines at the same time, essentially. Because it won't matter if- they won't be able to come to each other's aid if we cross and fuck them up. Is my fault. Because the king won't be affected by a border crossing. It's gonna be a big fucking battle, this. Uh, well, actually, we're beating the living shit out of them, Jesus Christ. No, well, they are dead as fuck. That was a hell of a battle. Got a fucking a lot of prestige for that. Well, that's the bulk of their armies just wiped out. The king's just gonna chase these idiots down. Don't really want to stretch my men out too much in this, but no. Oh, well. oh crap! I found all their armies are. <laughs> that answers that. I knew they were gonna land somewhere. I just wasn't sure where. The AI is kind of at a loss. It doesn't quite know where to go. Because no matter where it lands, I've got all these people in line here well, across the fucking borders. And then the troops, to, they're going to gun straight for their capitals. By the looks of it. Alright, let's split this force in half. I said split that force in half. Thank you. Alright. Now that that's 6,000 there, we send this 9,000 over here. I want to merge these guys. That's 26 fucking K people. Oof. They're really, uh, really being overly cautious here. Like, they're not attacking me, even if... 
Even if I make it appear like I've got less troops, they're still like registering the fact that I've got reinforcements nearby. Let me run there. Those men are fine where they are there. They're about to take their capital. They kind of can't do anything about it. It's kind of like a little bit of a cold war here. They aren't engaging me in battle. But I'm keeping them on the edge enough that they're not daring to attack my shit. Very nearly have that. It's taking so long to take this place. Alright, they're making a move. They're moving in 3,000 men there. If I wait for them to commit... There you go, they've committed. Move my men in. Uh, move these guys in here because I don't know how many men they're going to throw at this. They might actually throw quite a few. Okay, they're throwing quite a lot. Go, 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 go. Yeah, they're throwing everything they fucking have into this. Commit more men. Go, go, go. Can the king make it? Can the king make it? Can the yes, he can. And then I've got extra troops coming in from across the thing and flanking them in the rear. There you go. Troops from the siege come in and fuck him in the ass. Now that just leveled up my devotion. Yeah, that was the, the Battle at Jaren, which gave me 2,000 fame and 1,000 devotion. No, that's, yeah, 1,000 devotion. Plus fucking 18% war score. Beating the shit out of them on the crossing. Available hostage captured. The heir. Yeah, it's the heir. And one of his sons. Which brings an end to the war. And then gets us this large section of land. Which is nice. I think we lost some of our kings in the process, but there we are. There you go. Which grabs me land there. That's kind of irritating right there, but oh well. We'll make do. I'm sure he can have that. I don't care. I've given up with Bordegor. It's everywhere at this stage. It's just a matter of taking over. As long as the overall border looks clean, which is why I want Spain, and I want the rest of Italy dealt with, and potentially Greece, because the Byzantines are doing shit. So, eh. I mean, if Byzantine took like the rest of Greece, and they just wanted to like expand eastward, I'm fine just letting them do that. I don't fucking care. At all. They can do whatever they want. It just irritates me that they... What the bloody hell? Um, Sway? Really quick? Because that's not part of the empire anymore. It's independent and just by itself. So I can just quickly grab that. And then I just have to worry about freaking Greece being a pain in the ass. Slowly but surely kicking them out of Spain. It's only taking a while. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about any of this shit over here anymore. I could technically speaking keep expanding, but I don't particularly care about it all. It's just was so far out of my way. If my bannermen want to do all that bullshit, they can deal with that, but I'm not interested. <laughs> I just want Spain and Italy at the moment. Venice is going to be interesting because it's just kind of there. All right, screw being uh, like. Freaking anything about this, we're pretty sure we're just gonna like claim all of our shit on us because he owns a lot of like chunks of land. Those two bits of land right here, he, like, he owns that's just like in my way. So I'm just gonna declare war on them because I can. We should be fine attacking these lot. Our men are vastly superior. Yeah. Actually, we immediately captured their fucking dude. So, yeah, definitely fine. Definitely don't worry about it. I love when that happens. This makes things so much fucking easier. <laughs> if only that happened all the time. It basically does, actually. Every other war, I just immediately capture the dude. We are laying siege to Venice. We have captured their fucking dude.
Ah, oh, from the Pope. I can steal shit from the Pope. That seems like a bad idea. At the same time, what's the Pope gonna do, really? I mean, ooh, I can vassalize someone. Ah, that's that dude. Cool. That's that guy done. I'd like to point out that I have the Kingdom of Italy as part of my shit, but he just controls that tiny little piece of land like that. That's what the Kingdom of Italy is. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. An insignificant speck of dust. I've usurped the title from Rome, which basically means I can now take the papacy. Which I'm going to do, not knowing whether or not the Pope's gonna, like, call everyone in Christendom and, and everyone's gonna hate me because I'm attacking the Pope. I don't know. I don't know what this, it's gonna happen. But we're gonna do it, because fuck it. Now, I'm pretty sure the Pope is actually kind of powerful, so we're just going to kind of raise everyone over in Hungary, and then march down. Or do we raise everyone in Paris, perhaps? The supply limit through there is not bad. Eh, Hungary's probably best bet. Or Croatia. Actually, Croatia, and then we just land. It'll cost us a small fortune, but I can afford that. Fuck it. Come on, Croatia. Uh, build a large invasion force. And essentially what we're going to do is do a massive naval invasion from Croatia to frickin' uh, to frickin' Italy. Alright, it's going to cost me a small fortune to do this, but we're going to land our troops over here. Yeah, it's going to cost me like a fuckload. It's the biggest, it's a basically the medieval equivalent of D-Day is what I'm doing right here. It's about to cost me a small, giant chunk of money, but, um, we're doing it. Go, go. That alone is going to cost me a thousand gold to disembark all those troops and land them over onto, onto early. This is the medieval equivalent of the day is what's going on here. Alright, I'm going to use those 60 fucking thousand so men and intercept these guys. Because this 60,000 army, I need to hunt down these idiots. They're going to clash. There you go. I want these guys to cut off this army. And the rest of all these forces will cut into the Roman army. That's 60 fucking 6,000 men against fucking barely any of Rome. And then there's another 9... Where the fuck did these guys come from? There's another 9,000 laying siege to Rome itself. The Rome is like spawning troops out of its ass. Right now, this is what's happening here. Can you get over there in time to save these guys? I don't know if you can. Yes, you can. Excellent. Come on, get over here. The fucking Roman armies are like invincible. What the hell is this? Come on. Get over there. Get in there, quickly. Get in there. Get in there. Don't lose. Don't lose. You got this. Yes! Look how fucking badass their armies are. Jesus Christ. I, I outnumber them like two to one, but they just keep spawning troops out of thin fucking air. This is insane! This is completely insane. What the fuck? I know, I'm making acquaintances. Fucking tell me about it. I'm making plenty of acquaintances. Jesus Christ, where is Rome getting all these fucking men from? It's just spawning them out of thin air. Jesus fucking H. Christ. What the hell was that battle? Battle of Roma. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm gonna have to, like, start hiring mercenaries and shit. This is ridiculous. Um, holy fuck. Raise more troops there. Uh, I'm going to need to hire some mercs because this is insane. Fucking higher. I have unlimited cash. Cash is not a problem. My life against Rome currently is much a problem. 
Alright, that's 15,000 fucking epic quality fucking troops that we just hired from Mercenary Company. Out of fucking England. So, I'm assuming the, the fact that they're spawning troops out of thin air is somewhat of a, like, defense mechanism that the game has to stop you from taking Rome. I kind of need to constantly hunt them down. Actually, or I can just stay on Rome because it consistently keeps spawning more and more of the fuckers. Thing being that it spawns them fucking everywhere. I have no choice but to fight hunt them down. Because they're just going to raid all of my territory and burn my shit. Where is my mercenaries? <laughs> all the way over in Spain. They're not going to make it in time. Jesus Christ, I've been defeated. Holy crap. 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 No. Well, my mercenaries have arrived. Not a, enough time to do much, but they've arrived. So, this is uh, a thing that's happening. Um, holy crap. Okay. So, uh, I've gone from thinking that I'm indestructible to thinking that Rome is just not meant to be taken because this is crazy. They are so strong. Like, fuck me. Alright, I'm beating the shit out of them now. Oh, kind of beat the shit out of them, not really. I gained the trait excommunicated. Hell, then it took them long enough. Push them back, boys! Push them back! I'm not giving up on this. I'm not giving up on this. I fucking refuse. We will use the Godwin's vast supply of endless money! And that will be enough. That must be enough. Ah, fuck me. Uh, mercenaries. 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 I need more mercenaries. I just have unlimited supplies of cash, and right now I need desperately as many fucking men as I can possibly get. Potentially the biggest fucking what we've ever had. This is 20k fucking men that I've got here. They need to depart immediately and get their fucking asses to Rome right now. <laughs> right fucking now. They have them no respite. They can afford no respite. They can't possibly have unlimited supply troops. Surely not. I mean, there seems to be less of them than there were earlier. So that's something, kind of. Hopefully that extra 20k fucking men show up and help out. So they do keep spawning men just out of their ass. I'm not the one that's, like, imagining this. It is actually happening. I'm going to make the very dangerous decision to split my men in half and go hunt down these fucking cunts. Alright, I'm going to send the elite troops to go hunt down that 8,000 men while you guys stay here and lay siege to Rome. You should have another 20k men showing up to fucking help out because I've hired every single mercenary fucking company that exists. They should be fine with 30k against fucking 8k. I'm pretty sure I've beaten the shit out of the majority of their, like, really good troops. I think. And then the 20k fucking mercenaries are showing up. That's excellent. I have another child, apparently. A grandson. I'm not really bothered about this right now. I have bigger concerns than you popping out kids. Alright, thankfully the 20k fucking mercs are showing up. And they can go straight to Rome to help out with the siege. These guys are beating the crap out of them, which I'm happy about. I think we're in the clear. Like, the giant Roman doom stacks appear to have fucked off. Kinda. I'm still going to hunt down the rest of the fucking idiots, but... Yeah, the giant Roman doomstacks appear to have fucked off. Okay! I was not expecting it to be that fucking difficult. Fucking... Holy shit. The fucking two-year-long war. Enforced demands. I get the princedom of all this shit and fame. The Countess of Fingmajig apparently becomes my vassal, and somebody gets that bullshit, and I get a bunch of other crap. Yeah, that was... Bloody hell. That was something. I now have control of Rome. And the papacy is being kicked over to here, apparently. And the Pope now hates my guts. Very, very much hates my guts. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. That was a thing that happened. Fuck my life. So I have the Byzantine, Byzantine, whatever. Frickin' emperor over for tea, apparently. We've skipped ahead past the old king's, or well, that old emperor's rule, I suppose. 
But, um, yeah, my do your daughter's a fine woman, blah, blah, blah. Ponderously swirling his cup of spiced wines, the eyes set on my daughter, who is seated further down the table. My dear Emperor, Cedric. Uh, do I have permission to arrange a private audience with Lady Rock? There's nothing done toward the course, just a simple dinner in my chambers. Uh, allow it, but secretly listen in. I hope he's gonna do something, because if he does do something, then that's gonna be my reason for, like, declaring war on the Byzantine Empire. I'm assuming he's here to grovel. Because that consists of his empire right now. That. He's gotten fucked by frickin' Helios. The frickin' Crete people. And then these guys have taken over most of Hungary and all this crap. Got some weird border gore going on in Greece. They've taken large sways of this. I control that for some fucking reason. Uh, these guys are kind of spread out. They've taken the frickin'... I don't know what that's called. Take the islands off the coast of fucking Italy. Mali is like all of fucking, um, all of Africa, essentially, it's southern Africa. I control a large sway of this, and the Jerusalem has expanded its fucking reach across the coastline. And grabbed some weird, odd sections of, uh, fricking Turkey. Uh, that's about it, really. Russia's kind of split in two between Vladimir and these guys. They're, like, constantly warring, and their borders are a bit fucking iffy. Scotland's currently pissy about some shit or another. But that's the state of the world at the moment. India's all united under the Bengal Empire. The Mongol Empire was more united than this, but it appears to be having a current fucking rebellion crisis. I mean, yeah, it's, this is essentially Persia-ish, kind of. Syria's controlled by a Catholic frickin' dude. Yeah. We will see what the hell this guy is going to do with my daughter. I like it, but secretly listen in. Uh, from Riven Hiding Place and Hidden Passage, I hear dutiful, deceitful words loud and clear. He's trying to poison his mind against me. It seems to be working. Wait, the Byzantine Empire isn't Orthodox. He's Catholic. Really? Huh. Well, that's fine. We're going to be taking a shit later anyway. Uh, all right, well, we'll wait for my wife to give birth to these potential bastard children. Oh god, what happened? What happened? That was my kid who had that. Killed during a siege on the 8th of April. No! You dick! How did this happen? God damn it. I did not go according to plan. Well, hopefully I have another son and uh, that can replace him. Well, that kind of makes up for it. Two healthy boys. So I'll lose one kid and get another one, I guess. Uh, let's name one after Westam. Westam and William. I will show you, by the way. Um, if we go to my king. We see Prince Edward is currently learning to be a fucking bladesmith and shit. He's got three sons. Edward Edwardson, who's currently married to the princess of the... Holy... Yeah, these guys. The guys that are basically taking over all this shit. Because I want to use them against the Byzantines at some point. And I want to take Crete. Oh, that's southern Sicily. That fucking area. Which I think I could do in the Holy War because they're infidels. I didn't expect this little rebellion in Germany, but we'll deal with this first and then deal with the other crap afterwards. My son should arrive in time to deal with this. Should be enough to turn the tide. Plus, you got Denmark's men showing up as well. And my men are better quality, so we should beat the shit out of these guys. There you go. Easy win. I have a another grandson. Jesus, he just keeps popping out kids. I uh, can name this one after me, that's fine. Why have I got more fucking military power, military power, install king, thing, magic, the battalion throne? Oh god, there's just so much shit going on because of all this. I have too much stuff. Everything has gone to shit because I control Germany. Which I might just dump this immediately onto my uh brother-in-law, who is dead. Brilliant. We'll put the one-year-old kid in charge. That's going to go well. Oh, Helios has taken that back. Okay, that's going to make my plans to take Sicily a little bit more difficult. I'd hope to swoop in there and steal that while I could, because I could do a holy war against it, but apparently not. 
this is what happens. Fucking... I mean, this is how I got the entire, like, right-hand side of the map, essentially. Is the AI just doing their own fucking thing. Like, I, I, I've barely even done anything down here. Jerusalem's just... Fucking expanded like hell and taken everything. Look at it. Look how fucking huge it is. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click on that stupid little notification bell thing that doesn't really need to be there, but YouTube insists upon. In order to keep up to date with my videos, as if subscribing didn't already mean that you wanted that. What? I'm not salty. I love you, Google. Please don't demonetize me. For the love of God, send me money. YouTube are going to demonetize me and I haven't eaten in a week.